In today's video, I'll show you how to install this WineGuard RV crank up antenna. I'll show you how I modified it to use as a base for this omnidirectional cell phone booster antenna. And I'll show you how to install the entire Orpi cell phone booster system. Helping out on the camera today, we've got Fred Jr. These are the components that we're gonna be using. We have the WineGuard Sensar antenna. This is the Batwing antenna. Uh, we're going to repurpose this for our cell booster antenna. This is the omnidirectional antenna. We're going to be mounting that to this. And then the actual cell booster itself, uh, we're using the Orpi. And it also has its own power supply and then it has its internal antenna. To get the cable into the top of the camper, we're going to be using this flange here. The first thing we're gonna do is locate where we want the actual booster to be inside. We're gonna drill a hole through the roof for the cable. And then the last thing we're gonna do is install the, uh, the wine guard antenna. And we'll be modifying this at the end. So let's go inside and figure out where we want the booster. This is where we're gonna mount the booster. It's centrally located up here and this way we can see all the lights. Let's talk about the roof trusses. This is a Shadow Cruiser 240 BHS. Uh, so every 48 inches, we know we have a truss. So to drill our hole, we're gonna be inside of there. We know there's a roof truss right there. So we know there's definitely not one there. When we go to mount the antenna, we need to make sure we don't hit one of those. We're gonna take this long bit and we're gonna put a hole through the roof. I think we're through. All right, we've got that exposed. Now we can mount the booster. Let's drill some holes. Perfect. All right, that's got our wire fished for our antenna. And that's where the antenna's gonna live. For our power supply, we're gonna run a cigarette lighter adapter off of the radio and we're just gonna leave it up there. Here's my power plan. I've got this 12 volt female cigarette lighter adapter and I've got six feet of this electrical cord. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna fish it down through and we're gonna connect it behind the radio. One's already done some wiring we have a positive and a negative uh, bus block here. So we're just gonna hook them up. Let's get the radio hooked back up. Let's plug this thing in. And lights are coming on. Got some green and all green lights. Next, we're gonna fish our cable through the hole for our antenna. Okay, we got the cable through the roof. Now, on top of the roof, we're gonna use this entry gland. So the cable's gonna go up through this, and I'm gonna drill four holes in here, and we're gonna use stainless steel screws. I'll put affiliate links to this and all the products in today's video in the description below. So, in the top is gonna to be the, uh, the wire coming in from the antenna, and the other antenna comes up, it goes on the inside. So, this is how we're gonna mount it and probably going to use some double sticky sided uh, tape and we're going to put it right there. If you tuned into this video today for the installation of the WineGuard Sensar antenna, yeah, this is the part you want to watch. This is the spot that we've identified for where we want the crank for the antenna. So I'm going to drill my hole right here. 
we made sure that we're in between the trusses. So we know that there's a truss here and that there's a truss there. So they're four feet apart. We also discovered that pressing on the ceiling, we found the other ones and they're 16 on center. So that's how we located the trusses is we pressed on it and we can feel it. I have a 3 16 12 inch long pilot bit. We're gonna drill a hole. Inch and three quarter is the size of hole that we're gonna be drilling through the ceiling. And then we're gonna drill an inch and three quarter hole through the pilot hole from the top down. Now we'll go up on the roof and drill from the top down. If you were using this antenna for a TV antenna, this is where you would start putting this together. This simply goes in there and then two clips hold it on there. That's not what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be modifying this so that we can have this omnidirectional antenna attached to here so that when we crank it up, our antenna goes up in the air. This is the piece that makes it all work. So I'm gonna take my oscillating saw and we're gonna remove this. Thank you for giving your life for us. I'm gonna take my oscillating saw and this is what we need. Oh yeah. That's the piece we needed. All right, let's put these pins and clips in. Next, I'm gonna drill two holes so that I can mount the omnidirectional antenna to this mount. All right, those were the only bolts we had, but looks like they're perfect. For our test fitting, we're gonna set this in the hole and we're gonna drill two pilots and then we're gonna attach this and go down and see how it fits. We know that our ceiling is four and three quarters. The instructions say to measure down an inch and a half and cut off the shaft. So I'm gonna make a mark. We're gonna go back on the roof and we're gonna cut it off. All right, let's do a test fitting. We've got this cut off an inch and a half, like the instructions said. Arrows pointing to the back. There's our spring, here's our handle. Oh yeah, that feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and get everything secured now. All right, that finishes up all the pilots. Now let's take this off. We're gonna clean the roof. We'll get this roof cleaned off and then we're gonna seal this down and put in all the screws. The surface has all been cleaned. We have our pilot holes drilled and I've actually traced out the pattern of the base. Now I'm gonna apply my sealant and this is the lap sealant. Again, I'll leave affiliate links for all the products in this video. So I'm going to apply this to the roof right along the pattern that I drew And I'm making sure that I get it around the holes. And then I'm gonna do one more for good measure. It's about 110 degrees today, so this shouldn't take too long to set up. Now I'll start putting in my screws. Now I'm gonna do the perimeter and the screw heads. We did buy the roof wedge, but for this style of camper, we didn't need it. When I attached the gland, I used the same method as I did for the antenna. I drilled some pilot holes, I put down some sealant, and then I screwed it right to the roof. I'm gonna attach the cable to the roof using RV roof repair tape, because I think the fewer holes in the roof, the better. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.
There's the strips of the roof patching material that I'm using to hold down the cable. I've got three strips there. That stuff is super sticky. All right, let's mount the ceiling crank mount assembly. We've got our arrows lined up. It only fits on there one way. We're gonna drill four pilot holes and then we're gonna put the screws in. All right, here's the order that the parts go in. We've got the flange attached to the ceiling. We've got the next piece that lines up with the arrows. Next, we have the spring. Then we have this bushing. All right, now we have to tighten up the set screw. The instructions mentioned several times not to over tighten this screw. So we're not gonna over tighten it. It's very warm in here. After a small heat break, it's the next morning. I want to talk a little bit about some of the accessories that are available for the wine guard antenna. There's a slanted roof wedge that's available if you end up mounting yours on a sloped roof. And then there's another wedge that's available for the inside. This levels out the crank if you decide to mount your crank somewhere other than the center. There's also an extension that's available in case your roof is thicker than the four and three quarters. I'm working on a video to test the performance of this cell phone booster system. And when I'm finished with that video, I'll put a link to it right here. I'm glad you watched and I hope you watch again. It's very warm in here. <laughs>